Hey everybody, we are finally back. I know I've been really inactive, but then, you know, a lot of things happened, a lot of things changed. Second wave of COVID happened, and, you know, we did lose a lot of our loved ones. But then, life has to go on. Anyway, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a hoodie today, but then, few people find it comfortable, and few people find it illogical for our weather. But then, you know, it all depends on tastes. And similarly, let's see how practical and logical it is to own one of this. Enter the E400 Cabriolet. Now, as we get on inside, let's talk about the steering wheel first. Well, you get your audio and Bluetooth voice controls and you get the controls for your infotainment system. Yes, this is not a touch screen one and rather you use the controls here or the ones even down here. Now, and not to mention we do get paddle shifters and the typical Merc style gear shifter here. So yeah very controversial one because some people like the regular gear selectors and some people are more onto this the old american truck style ones anyway that's none of our problem and you get wiper controls on the left as well as uh, cruise control below now on the right door you have the controls for the seat and yes they are fully electric seats it all happens in super slow motion so yeah you have to bear with that and yes you have three memory functions for the seat and you have the door unlock and lock functions here power function for all four windows and yes the ORVM controls and the ORVM retract button and that's it for the right door moving on to the center console now let's start the car Yes, it does sound fabulous because it has a crazy exhaust system in it. Well, let's talk about that later. Let's move on to the center console. Well, no, it's not a touch screen. You either use your controls here or the touch pad here. Now, you get uh, Bluetooth navigation and radio controls as well as you do get a CD player here because it is quite an old car. It's from 2015 back when CD players were actually a thing. And talking about AC, you do get dual zone climate control, which is standard for all the Germans. And it also gets noisy when the fan is full. Well, let's listen to the audio quality. audio is powered by Harman Garden on this. So here on top in between you have your lights placed and you also have two separate reading lamps which pop up from under the IRVM and yes obviously you do get auto dimming IRVMs and for the sun blinds you have a mirror with the light it pops on and it is the same case with the mirror for the passenger side. 
now if you want to get into the back seat you got to pull this lever up the headrest folds in and eventually the whole thing folds down and moves forward again super slow motion now getting into the back seat is quite a task yeah well the back seat is definitely suitable only for kids because just look at this under thigh support is hardly there okay it exists but then when you pull this back up knee room will become in existent it comes all the way back and boom come here this is all the knee room you get your shin hits the back of the front seat and well you have an armrest yes you do get an armrest you get twin cup holders in between which means no fifth occupant no damn way and you also get window controls for yourself so that's good enough let's talk about the mods done on this car from the interior point of view this little blob over here makes a lot of difference well okay, let me explain to you what this little blob does here well this is an motion sensor that controls the valvetronic system of the exhaust and yes it is an additional accessory here and it does not come standard on the car let me turn on the car and show you how it works now the valve is half open now so when you give the throttle it's mild it's not loud now it's green and it's fully open and now when i throttle it's real loud and now i close it up fully and it's silent it's such a sleeper tool off we go you get hydraulic struts so it takes care of all the job now let's talk power figures well this engine that powers the e400 is a 3 liter twin turbo v6 and when i said twin turbo i really meant it unlike bmw's twin scroll wala twin turbos so this produces around 328 bhp and 480 newton meters of torque and this beautiful v6 is mated to a 7 speed transmission which puts out the, the power to the rear wheels on to the exteriors well you get a typical e class headlight with a few mods which was made to suit the cabriolet and then this is not the regular grill that comes on the e400 but this is more of a replica type pan americana grill and all the rest of it is stock and yes it is wrapped into matte black while the original color of the car is a flash red or ferrari red as you can see here in the door jam i missed out on this the light bar that has been installed on this and well this does have quite a few functions which you will see in the video these aviation style switches are actually controls for the light bar placed in front and it is more of an aesthetic mod rather than practicality or performance now talking about these beautiful alloy wheels you have here these are 19 inch PSWs with a beautiful five spoke design wrapped on Pirelli P0s with a profile of 35 and yes they're that thin and also the owner has made a upgrade on the disc rotors and he's changed the regular ones into drill rotors moving on to the side the chrome bits still remain on the car it hasn't been de chromed moving on to the rear you have the same set of alloy wheels wrapped in the p0s and the beautiful looking tail lights 
they look very similar to the E class again have small changes in their proportions and yes the tail lights have been smoked a bit E400 badge right there and you also get an antenna here now the interesting bit a lot of you would think that since this is a cabriolet and the roof retracts back down that this does not have a boot well i was one of them too until i discovered this you actually have a usable boot space of 300 liters when the roof is down and which extends to 390 liters when the roof is retracted back up well that's cool now as you enter and if you close your door you're greeted with your seat belt so make sure you gear up before you start driving so here we are finally we have our hands on the e400 cabriolet and first things first i'm really nervous because it's the first time i'm you know handling such a powerful and expensive car so anyway let's slightly get on to the throttle and see how this baby performs and boy oh boy this thing is crazy on paper i think she does 0 to 100 in somewhere around 5 seconds which is crazy fast and yes that's a twin turbo v6 for you and anyway brakes are fine it has a big brake kit if and that's what i'm told by the owner and bro just listen to her the rest racing exhaust just screams it's just pure ear gas and boy oh boy i'm in love this thing is a whole experience by itself with the roof down you know you get so much attention and the icing on the cake is the sweet exhaust system and boy oh boy does she look killer in that matte black clothes so you know it really is a big dream come true moment for me to be driving a convertible that in Chennai because you know it's a pretty rare thing you can't find one that easily in India and I'm just enjoying it and more I'm not going to be talking on you know facts and figures or you know how she handles because bro it's a cabriolet like just look at her scream just listen to it I'm sorry all you need is to you know be pampered in and to be in a cozy place so all you have to do is you know enjoy your road trip so i am really not going to talk about the handling characteristics of it because no one's you know going to really put it onto a track but it i'm sure being a merc it will never disappoint you if you're on a hill station and if you're craving for corners and hairpin bends so yes i know this is quite a short test ride but this is all i got so that's it for today and well should you buy an a400 if you can and if you can afford one definitely yes as your second car because it's not as practical for our daily usage so so this too is like your secondary car it's more or less like the tar because you know both of them are impractical for a family you know they're not the best in seating for and their boot spaces are just for their namesake so this again should be only your weekend car and well it is quite an expensive weekend car because when it was last sold it was around 85 lakhs ex showroom which is quite a bomb and yes it's a merc so yeah thanks for watching 
stay tuned and hopefully i'll be able to post more content regularly for you thanks for all the love and support that you've been showering on me shall